Um, I was contemplating whether I should bring it up, but it keeps bothering me. The coworker that always picks on me and bullies me. We got into an argument yesterday because I was discussing with a coworker to help out with some felt. We got into it and it was heated. Then he started threatening me to watch my breaks and etc. I told him, you need to stop picking on me or I'll go to HR. I guess he said, he'll go to HR, blah, blah, blah. Um, and I said, make sure to tell on everyone too. Otherwise, you're just picking on me. I feel guilty about going to HR, but I'm sure he already went to tell about my breaks. I'm not sure if I'm scared of the outcome. Um, <clears throat> so this is all ego run. <laughs> I thought this is news to you. Um, when he got into the discussion with you, there's there's a different way that you could have handled this. And I want you to come up with some ways you could have handled it. But let me give you a couple couple choices here. You could have just acknowledged that he was saying stuff in a calm way, even though you felt attacked and bullied, and quietly gone to HR without threats. He threatens you, you threaten back. He comes at e from ego, you come at ego, now we got problems. And and if there's guilt about breaks that you're taking, of course, that's going to trigger more ego stuff and fear. So, you know, whatever happens from here, what's the outcome that you want? Obviously, you don't want him to pick on you and bully you anymore. You want it recorded. Did he go to HR? Didn't know, like, this is so much drama. And what you need to pick up on for yourself is why do I keep reacting and getting jumping in with drama. It doesn't matter how he acts. It does not matter that he wants to pick on you and bully you. He's got obviously some ego control issues with wanting to tell everyone what to do, but that's on him. What's on you is what's your reaction to it. And why do you need to react when you feel attacked? To, to attack back, two wrongs don't make a right. Someone comes at you, you center, you get quiet, Go back and watch the very beginning of Charm Life last night where I talked to Leah about stay silent. Don't jump into the stories. Don't jump into the, the drama. Okay. Sometimes, you know, we think if we meet force with force that we're going to break through whoever's the strongest, right? That the, there's a belief out there that like only the strong survive the, you know, survival of the fittest. That's not true. Like, you come at me in anger, I'm going to come at you with love. You come at me with bullying, I'm going to stay silent. I am going to put up a wall, a barrier where you can't get to me. And that is like whatever he's projecting at you is coming from his stuff. So why are you going to jump in there and grab it and make it now attack, 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 attack? You get two dogs in the red zone, which is what I like to look at ego as, as we get into the red zone completely tuned out. You get two pit bulls going at each other in the red zone. Somebody's going to get hurt, all right? But like you get a dog who's in the red zone and another dog that goes submissive, chances are it's going to be easier to control the situation by taking the red zone dog out, right? But if both are at the red zone and they're going at each other, what's the outcome? Somebody's going to get hurt. You know, this whole tattletale thing, it's childish. I get it, but that's the mentality. So if you want things to shift and change, come from a higher mentality. Govern yourself instead of sending all the authority over to HR. It's fine to get them involved when someone's bullying you and it's a constant but at the same time, your job then is to not react as far as like, we'll tell them everyone else has taken too many breaks too. You know, that's justification for you doing something wrong that you could potentially get in trouble for. Um, so stop being in fear over all of that. Everybody, apparently it sounds like at work is um, taking more breaks and this guy's the police, the, the break police. So you're just going to have to be different, show up differently. And even if he bullies you, just meet him with compassion and understanding. This is a kid, like think of him in his five-year-old self. Why is he acting like this? 
because he's got some insecurities and, and he feels like he's the only right way. My dad does this crap. My dad has been, had to quit many jobs because he's a control freak and he's got to interject and he's got to tell everyone what to do. And it comes from his PTSD. It comes from when he was in the Marine Corps in Vietnam, he was a drill instructor and that thinking still stays with him. And it's gotten him into quite a bit of trouble at work because he always wants to be the authority. Why? Because he doesn't feel like he has any. Why? Because he doesn't have any authority within himself. He's shut down many things because of the things that have happened to him. So look at it from that perspective. This guy is reacting from a hurt place. Hurt people hurt other people. People that were bullied tend to bully other people. People that are not in control of themselves and their ego tend to act like this. Um, and it's sad. It's sad that we feel like biting at people and arguing with people and bossing people around is the only way we can feel powerful. It's way more powerful and you have no regrets and no guilt and no shame when you come from love. In all things, love. And you as a sensitive, obviously are gonna react to his energy. You have to stop, button down your lips, pull your energy back, shield up in order to respond properly. So this is just, it's a beautiful lesson for you that's showing you where you need to grow. So if you get an HR meeting called, then take responsibility, be honest. Yeah, I reacted. And, and it scared me. He's constantly doing these things and I don't know why, but it doesn't mean that I, I have a right to, to react the same way. Like that was immature um, and I'm working on it. You can tell them you have a life coach and you're working on getting through some of this stuff because it does put you into fear and then put you into reaction mode. It doesn't matter what he's doing, how where he's coming from with it. That's on him. You come from the light, come from love, come from stability, and things will improve. All right. I hope that helps. I want to hear your comments. What can you do the next time this happens? Because inevitably you'll be tested on it. <laughs> this is the way life works. But see him as a child. What, what, what potentially is driving his need for control? We can do this with anybody. All right.